Hello and welcome back to my channel, my name is Jess and today I'm going to be talking about more Hogwarts house book recommendations. This video is all going to be about my house, the one and only Hufflepuff. You'd never be able to tell that that is my house from looking at me, I mean... I just, I... Oh my god, it's just starting, absolutely tipping it down. Hope there's no washing out. This is part in a series. I've already filmed a uh, Gryffindor book recommendations video. If you want to go and check that out, it will be linked down there. Let's get into the book recommendations. The first book that I want to recommend for Hufflepuffs is The Help by Catherine Stockett. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about... I just poked myself in the eye. Uh, everyone knows about The Help by now. It's um, it's set in 1962 um, and it's all about um, black maids in uh, Mississippi at this time. Um, so this girl called Skeeter has come back from college, she's trying to get into the literary world and she comes up with this idea to write from the perspective of the maids that look after children and families in this town. Obviously at this time race relations was a huge deal, especially in the southern states of America and this is what this is all about. Um, and the reason I've chosen this for Hufflepuff is because in a weird way it is so caring. Like every character in this, especially all the maids, are just so wonderful and kind no matter what they've been through. and how people have treated them. Aveline, the main uh, character, <sighs> raises this young girl called Mae Mobley and in the film, I don't know if you've seen it or read it, but there's this line in the film where um, Aveline is teaching Mae Mobley sort of, you know, life lessons as you do to children and she's telling her, you are kind, you, you, are, kind. Kind. you are smart, and and you are important and you is important. if that is not the most Hufflepuff thing I've ever heard in my life then I don't know what to tell you I love this book and I love the movie so much um I would recommend everyone to read this even if you have or even just see it because it's so so important the second book that I'm going to recommend for my Hufflepuff readers is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky Perks of Being a Wallflower is huge. It was huge a few years ago and it's probably still huge now, it's just like low-key huge. But The Perks of Being a Wallflower is all about this uh, boy called Charlie who is starting high school. It's theorised very much so that Charlie is suffering with something um, and it's been sort of discussed that it may be schizophrenia, it might be um, some form of autism or general learning difficulties. He has trouble making friends and he makes these friends and the way that he learns how to love and how to express his love for his friends, it's such a great coming of age story. And the reason I've put it in the Hufflepuff book recommendations video is because of Charlie. Charlie is so sweet and he struggles with a problem that I think a lot of Hufflepuffs, including myself, struggle with or have struggled with in the past and that is learning not to love too much. And that sounds so cheesy but it is true, like let me, let me explain. Charlie sh loves his friends so much and he loves his family so much that he would do anything for them and he puts them above himself and he, a lot of the time he will take time out of his day or you know put aside his own struggles to look after them. In the end it hurts him quite a lot and I've struggled with that in the past and I think a lot of other Hufflepuffs probably have, like not just Hufflepuffs but in general that's sort of a, a straight. And this really teaches you to sort of step back and take care of yourself first because if you can't look after yourself you can't look after other people. So that is why Perks of Being a Wallflower is in this video. The third book I'm going to recommend for Hufflepuffs is kind of stupid to be put in here really but I just wanted to include it because it's so beautiful and it is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone uh, the 20th edition in the Hufflepuff colours look at it <laughs> obviously everyone here has probably read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone 
Um, these were special edition covers with extra content in them. Depending on the house colour you bought, it has information on your house, which was so cool to read. Like, you don't hear a lot about Hufflepuff. You know, everyone's talking about Gryffindors and Slytherin because they're like the main people in Harry Potter. But I love this so much. And if you want to learn more about the house of Hufflepuff, then please, please buy these. They are so, so worth it. The final book that I'm going to be putting in my Hufflepuff House book recommendations video is All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Now, if you don't know who Carrie is, she uh, is a YouTuber and actually now she's a West End star. A couple of years ago, she was described as like YouTube's big sister. And this book is, all, is basically a advice book for growing up. I bought this I think when I was a bit too old for it, like I could have used it when I was maybe 13 or 14 and I bought it when I was 17 so it was a bit late for me. Uh, so it's basically got chapters on everything about growing up so it's like friends, relationships, parents, homework, school and it's so kind and caring and understanding towards everyone. There's nothing in here that says you know don't be a dick or don't be this type of person. It's just kind and it's understanding and it's patient and I just described my house yet again. <laughs> and that was the last book in my Hufflepuff house recommendations. If you want to see the rest of the videos in this series then please let me know. I love talking about Hogwarts houses and the type of people that are in them and all of that stuff like I could talk about it for ever. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!